Hey everybody, Texas Stroker here, Lance's Performance Shop, Lone Star Mopars. It is Labor Day, I had a tool haul come in earlier this week, finally getting some time to take a look at them. Uh, it's about 90 degrees in here, so bear with me. But, uh, just a couple of miscellaneous things we'll go over real quick. Um, you know, it was a sad deal, I could not find channel lock stuff locally, and uh, I actually think one store had them available. But the price was so much more, it was just easier to order it in, get free freight and everything. So uh, we're going to take a look at those, just some real quick stuff. Um, when I was having to do the plugs on the duster, I realized I was having to cobble up four or five extensions, you know, kind of like the standard size is three inch. Uh, I think these are, what, inch and three quarter, three and eight inch. So basically inch and three quarter, eight inch, three inch. Uh, which typically a socket set will include a three inch so I've got several of those like I said cobbled together and I thought man you know if I just had one longer one you know roughly six plus inches it would work great so that's what this was uh, it's from performance tool I've had quite a bit of their stuff and I've not had any of it fail yet so uh, I'm kind of running off that it's nice they put the knurled finish there but I think you're all in on that for like eight to ten dollars somewhere in that range uh, needed an oil pump primer and so basically what I bought is key stock for $11 from Chrysler <laughs> and, uh, I went ahead and ordered this through uh, Summit uh, but I guess we'll just go ahead and look at this. Uh, this is something it's if you've got a good people act like every town has these and they do not uh, you can get key stock pretty commonly if you've got you know I'm not talking like a typical hardware store our home improvement center but like an old school bolt store uh, kind of where like your commercial shops would play uh, place orders if you've got one of those they can probably get this for you I don't know that they would stock hex key stock now I can buy square key stock in all sorts of sizes it's an on-the-shelf item the hex stuff I'm not so sure chances are they can get it for you the price is probably gonna be similar possibly a little bit less but that's literally all this is. One side goes in the drill, one side goes down the distributor slot into the oil pump. You can prime your motor and start it safely. Uh, whether it's a new build or one that has sat for a long time like mine. <laughs> so, right here, Titan 3 8 finger ratchet. Uh, this is another pretty cheap item. This is something I've wanted to buy for a long time. There's so many times or I run into a situation and I think, man, you know, if I just had like a really tiny ratchet, and that's basically what this is. I'm trying to pull up the um, part number and price for you. Dun -dun -dun. It looks like it's uh, through some and it's TTN and then 12091, 797. So I was willing to give it a go again. I was kind of bringing some things in, just tacking things on to get free freight. And I thought, you know what, let's do it. <laughs> so uh, I'm hoping it's not a piece and it doesn't break. Uh, the weak point I could see is if you've got something tight and you really had to kind of leverage down, I don't know how it'll hold up, but uh, we shall see. Again, I think I've had a few Titan things that haven't failed yet, so uh, kind of basing it off of that. Over here, uh, you know what, I think that's what we will do. We will uh, sort of stop there. We'll just kind of showcase everything. Uh, so if you want to see the complete video uh, for each particular item, uh, you can just tune in for that. So Taylor Cable 43400. This is a uh, pretty sweet crimp tool is what this amounts to. Of course, it is designed for spark plugs, but it has separate dies. MSD makes one. It's about $15 to $20 more. I cannot find regular dies like this. Now, there's a good chance they would plug and play with either Taylor dies or other dies, but I couldn't find confirmation of that. I uh, didn't feel like wasting a couple of days asking around on the internet or calling tech support. So I bought the Taylor ones. They're the plug wires I've run. I've loved them. Um, I kind of based it off of that. So now they're both red handled, so you can't really, you know, factor color into it too much. But right here the 43401s this is some really nice crimp dies and this should give me really really good results uh, that's the plan anyway over something like the santa lock 909s um, i had the klein set and they have uh you can see that blister there i was using them a lot this weekend at work uh, i had to work saturday fitting for labor day weekend but uh these are 1197 through summit and you know they've got another set for non-insulated 
Uh, of course, typically everything I do is insulated. Uh, we'll see how it goes. And of course, the classic channel lock 909s. Uh, they've got the vivid blue, sky blue handles that I always know it's channel lock or in imitation. These are nine and a half inches long, so you'll get really good leverage. Downside, say you're working in the car, under the dash, in the dash, through the glove box, tight confines, you might have issues. I do believe they have a smaller one. Uh, but this is sort of the go-to, and uh, I've got years and years of use out of these and Klein's. Uh, from what I understand, people are saying that Klein has kind of gone downhill a little bit in recent years. I wouldn't know because everything I have of theirs is ancient and it's still doing fantastic, but uh, the main thing, I just kind of liked these and they were priced a little bit better, so we'll be taking a look at that. And then lastly, if we come over here and can't even fit it into the frame, performance tool once again hook pick and scraper set so uh, we'll be taking a look at that separately the channel lock separately and the taylor crimper separately so uh, that's just a quick little update here the duster i am leaning towards you know speaking of performance tool right here you know how hard it is to find a three eighths to quarter inch <laughs> bushing uh, a reducer bushing uh, locally it's a nightmare this was 297 through summit it's uh m482 as it focuses there and that's going to allow me this is what's been the hold up on the efi i needed this 3 8 temp sensor to go here down to quarter inch to fit my manifold uh charger or the duster that's just the way it is from what i understand this big box here is supposed to have uh reducer bushings for your temp sensor just like you get with a gauge set did not so that's been my hold up on that front that's why i've not made any progress but I've shot some trans fluid down the uh, cylinders of the duster. Now the priming rod is here so I can prime the oil pump. I could attempt to fire it up. If I can get the carb going, <laughs> uh, the issues I ran into with the tailpipes on the duster, I think I shot that in an earlier video uh, last time I was able to do anything with my free time. The way the tailpipes are, man, I cannot fit filter pump anything on the frame rail and that sort of is a buzz killington and it's making me think hey throw this efi on the charger keep it old school with a duster with a carburetor uh, save two thousand bucks so that's kind of the direction i'm leaning right now if i can get this thing to fire up i'm gonna go uh, get it inspected get it registered and put it back on the streets so uh, we shall see but right now i want to get these tools opened up take a look at them and most importantly start using them so if you're interested in seeing any of these they will be the next video on the channel we'll probably start with the boring stuff the hook pick and uh, scraper set and then move on to the crimper so uh, as always, thanks so much for watching. Just wanted to kind of get a quick update here. Uh, make sure you check out LoneStarMopars.com, and I'll catch you back here as we take a look at these tools.